Christmas so it is Christmas Day and I'm just checking in briefly I shared some tree moments and some gifty moments I've already put up my 2022 calendar which is a lino ca calendar I was given by a friend who is um, kind of an artist studio neighbor when I go to Anda Studio so I'm super happy to have that and to yeah just look at my ornaments I'm gonna knit 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 because spoiler I did not finish my Ruppetto scarf for my son but I'm about maybe 15 or 16 rows behind so I'm gonna try and finish Christmas day so that's today <laughs> so I'm, sure I'm gonna sit on the sofa now and knit a bit and then we'll go for a walk because it's nice and sunny I hope you're having a beautiful day whatever you're doing happy vlogmas end and you know more coming in adventism but happy happy day to you today wherever you are whatever you do i hope you have blue skies if you celebrate christmas or not that you're well and that your loved ones are well too that's a love This is Mimi checking in for the fourth and last Adventism, the fourth candle, which is my Yarn Shakes Vlogmas like weekend special where I edit a little bit of the week together into one. We've just finished decorating these biscuits and I will show you some of what the days have been like. And then I'll be back with some of my recent craftings.
Boxing Day, it's such a beautiful, bright blue sky day. So, my family went ice skating. I don't really ice skate since I think last year or the year before. I fell on my butt and I pulled my daughter down with me, so I just kind of don't feel like it. And it's my one day off before I start a kind of shorter than usual week, but I start back at work tomorrow. So I decided I'll just hang out at home, enjoy the sunlight from indoors and knit and knit and knit. And I wanted to show you, yes I did finally finish um, Christmas Eve cast off. It's not blocked nor is it steaked because this um, scarf pattern um, by Anna Matz called Ruperto Scarf need steaking so I still got a couple of live stitches on my needle and I've you know as asked in the pattern made one kind of row of kind of wonky row of uh, just a single stitch which I can cut along so I'll do that um, whilst the camera rolls as the great it's finished moment and then I'll um, uh tie the little tassels and shorten them to my a teenager's demand like he wanted relatively short tassels so i'll work it out with him or maybe i'll use the technique i learned from weaving to make these kind of twisted tassels i'll show him both options so and then this 
is finished. You might have noticed this is actually, I've got, I did the thing that you're not meant to do. It's basically when I cast on and I closed to knitting around, I've created this Mubius um, shawl. So I got my stitches in a twist, but it doesn't matter because this shawl uh, or scarf is steaked. So the scarf is actually this way around. And then the steak will be here. I will cut it um, or oh, at the bottom. Let's try and put that all the way at the bottom like this. Then the in the twist thing is going to be resolved and I can make the tassel. So it's the one time it didn't matter. Maybe you noticed when I knitted it that it was a Mobius. Maybe you didn't. And in any case, it didn't really matter. I really love this subtle fade that the cashmere that Josh gave me has created as the background color. There's this really nice spot here with some royal blue. Love it. And it's so squidgy and soft. I think my child will love it. Oh my God, the sun is so bright. I'm being blurred out. Um, all in all, it means I finished two scarves, one woven, one knitted, and I made two quilt that were gifted. One is not finished <laughs> to my mum. I'll try and include some pictures. I was trying to keep it secret, um, but I did film a little bit last week when I sent it off, like the last moment. So I'm gonna share that here of the patchwork art that I sent her. She used to work in, uh, she's a social worker and she used to work on a playground which was called the adventure playground. So we used to build huts with wood and we'd have fire and we'd do pottery and we, um, yeah, just generally hung out and the kids got to kind of have a bit of a moment away from home. And my mum was always guiding these. She always had like a, um, CV they're called in German which is someone who chooses not to go to the army and instead doing social service so they did this voluntary social year and she'd always have a helper in them and then we'd always have to go along because obviously after school finished we'd go to my mum's work and then when I was a teenager she changed jobs to the same kind of jobs, but in a different part of our local area and they had goats. So as my mum finishes her or finished her long time deservedly um, career as a social worker, she's now retired and I wanted to do something um, to embrace that as her daughter and to say thank you for the years what well, we got to spend nature time outside with her though she was working I think she had a bit of a split task there and you know I do understand that now more than ever as a mum to kind of school kids like what she was like doing that that was amazing and she loved looking after the goats I remember they had two billy goats once and she just absolutely loved we used to go there even when she wasn't at work if it was like school holidays like Christmas like now she would have tasks feeding them and looking after the goats and just remember her really enjoying that so the goat kind of marks that for me <laughs> and I loved the little patch that I bought from Addie Best Studio she's a printmaker from America and it's really easy because she just sends these normal letter envelopes and it's like one of those things to get from America that's not as complicated so yeah, I, I ordered them relatively early on in autumn and made those patchworks. Uh, same for the coffee patchwork from my friend Ander, which I thank you so much for liking it so much. I can't believe my little Christmas post made everyone go, yeah, phew, coffee. <laughs> Super quick in this daylight. <sighs> I'm going to quick tie quilt this um, with a linen at work which I've bought already but I had planned something with it for advent and I just cannot find it I put it in a box I think it, it's disappeared so I have to rebuy the linen as a backing for this mini quilt <laughs>
that would have been some glimpses of my patchwork. Um, other update is the current. Ooh, 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 no, don't slip the stitches, Mimi. Current mid row situation of my habitation throw. This is the front. With the really cool stitch markers that I just added as jewelry. They're by Clara. Colorful Studio C by Clara and gifted to me by my friend Nora who runs the Keats Gun shop. So the next color will also be, have I got it here? The mini skein she gave me alongside that will be the Keats Gun mini skein. I'm looking forward to knit this. And then after that it'll be this fluffy Goatland from Frauke from my stash vent. And then there'll be more. These are the stash of joys. I think I stopped at around day 19 now. So I've got some catching up to do with that. But also I'm gonna do a Boxing Day cast on. I'm gonna combine these two colors. It's the Laulu scarf. Uh, it's a little triangle scarf because I really love wearing these little triangle scarves and the Laulu uh, scarf is by Zari Nordlund. And I'm knitting along with Nora who's already cast on Christmas Eve, I think. I'm like way behind, but I had a scarf to finish. So then, okay, where was I? Um, my camera ran out of battery. I'm pairing this very crummy uh fresh from my stash uh super soft by magazine duet with the soft silk mohair by knitting for olive i think it's gonna be fun i'm not sure how this will clash if it will clash in a good way when it's marled or whether it will kind of look a bit spotty I will see. I'm excited to knit this mini kerchief along with Nora and it being kind of like a holiday knit. Um, obviously in my head I'm hoping to finish before New Year's Eve but <laughs> let's see about that. Um, yeah I, I love wearing these little handkerchiefs. I've got three or four by now and this is just kind of a little joy moment so that I have a little red playful lacy mini shawl. I think I would have added a little picture of Zari's pattern in here. If not, I'll do it now here near the Christmas tree. So you have a bit of an image of what I'm trying to, to knit. The sun has completely changed because I had to charge the camera. Pick up a child because I've changed the regulations now. You as a primary school child also have to prove a test and she didn't want to go to the test center. So she can't go ice skating with the rest of the group. Anyway, she'll help me bake. I've already started some more mince pies. I want to make these uh, caramelized apple cheesecake mini bars for our dessert tonight because we're having another little roast. I'll, I'll make potato dumplings and We've already got a red cabbage, so I'm very excited about that. And we've got the gravy and some leftovers of edge, so it'll only be the dumplings tonight um, that I have to look after. So the baking madness is kind of fair enough because it's going to be like two hours of work for these apple bars, but someone wants to bake these now. <laughs> It'd be me. So I thank you so much for visiting me throughout Vlogmas and for giving me all the encouraging words and comments and just the conversations we've had throughout this month showed me that it was worth it. It was worth filming and editing something every day. I only fell off the bandwagon once, which was around 19th, 20th, which was when, you know, Christmas shopping was going crazy at my work for me as a shop assistant. <laughs> in a wool shop so I forgive myself for that and I know you don't care <laughs> I hope you don't care let's say that um and yeah I, I've loved doing these weekend versions like today's uh, vlogmas I'll find something to fade this out to I don't know if it'll be knitting it'll be a cast on if it'll be 
I think it'll be the steak. I'll fade out to the steak of my um, eldest child's new cashmere scarf. It's like pure cashmere. Uh, it's lovely. It's going to be so nice when it blocks out. Just one last kind of flashback to the swatch. You might see, look, you know, if you can see the holes, if you can see the light through here, you won't. It kind of solidifies and fluffes out as cashmere does. So I'm very excited to block that and um, I'll film the stick now and fade out and say bye bye. Thank you for Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas. Thank you for joining. Um, I say bye bye with a crying and a laughing eye because I will have some more rest and I will have a New Year's without filming, without editing. And then I'll see you in 2022. As we say in German, Guten Rutsch. Slide on easy. Slide on over easily. <laughs> and look after yourselves. Take care, my friends. See you later.